Hi, everyone. We're back with Kara's Cure. So here's a question you may not know the answer to. Is what you're eating real? Hmm. Is it real food? What does that mean, and how can you tell? Here to explain is Dr. Alanis Morissette, otherwise known as Dr. <laughs> Artemis Morris, board-certified naturopath physician and founder and medical director of the Artemis Wellness Center. So good to see you. Great yeah. to see you. Great to be with you guys. And I know you're a big educator on clinical nutrition, and the big thing, and one of the, I think everyone gets confused. This is so confusing all the time. What we should eat, carbs, no carbs, this, that. But the main thing we want is all humans should eat real food. And we have a lot of fake food out there, right? Yes, we do. And 80% of chronic disease is due to diet and lifestyle. So just changing this can change Is that true? A lot. 80, say that again? 80% of chronic disease is due to diet and lifestyle factors. So changing what we eat can have a very big impact that on is our health. That's a remarkable statistic. It is. I, I mean, I don't know if I've ever heard it just like that, but I guess, you know, we all have our genetics, but our, as you'll tell us, our good genes, the volume can be turned up, and our bad genes, the volume can be turned down by using food as medicine. Absolutely. That's called the field of epigenetics, and it definitely applies to all of the food we have in front of us today. Okay. So let's start. We've got little kind of quizzes, real food versus fake food. Can we talk, let's talk drinks. This is always a problem, especially with kiddos, like when you're trying to tell them, just have water or whatever, but what do you want us to know? Uh, are, you, are these quizzes? you want us to guess what's real and fake? Or what are yes, we, we do have some fun quizzes, but you know, one of the places where I think we can make a huge impact is in terms of what we're drinking. Yeah. Okay. Right? So the sugary drinks, you know, yeah. how many Americans have a sugary drink or a low calorie or zero calorie drink every day? And just by cutting that out, you can have a major impact on your health. Because a lot of the ingredients found in the fake drinks, and you can guess which is which here if you want. Um, so juicy juice is okay? It's real? That has some real juice in it. You see it's 100% juice, no sugar added. Um, okay. You know, oranges are best, but if that, and then we have some of the fake juices, and you'll see that they have artificial ingredients in it. You'll see also that they have uh, flavored with or, um, you know, ju artificially flavored drinks or fruit juice-like. Um, so those are not uh, products that are really going to help your body. I mean, you might think Sunny D is healthy because there's an orange on it. It says 100% vitamin C, but the number one ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. You would tell us we should never eat high fructose corn syrup, right? Right. That's an example of a fake food additive that is really much more impactful on your risk of diabetes than even regular sugar can be. So the real sugar is actually going to be better for you in small amounts than any of the fake sugars that you see here. Okay. All right. Oh, Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I drink that when I get sick. Oh, yes. I love this one. This is one of my favorite um, busters. So, is there any real ginger in ginger ale? I don't think I would say 10% or 20%. No. None. I know. It It might have been there at one point, but at this point, if you want real ginger ale, you, you've got to go to some of the natural brands that actually have it in there. But ginger ale, you know of, is antiviral, antibacterial, good for the gut. You know, we all know of that as a home remedy. Sure. But, you know, instead High of High fructose corn syrup is the number one ingredient, and the next thing is just ginger extract, so it's just a flavor. Wow. There's no ginger in here. Exactly. Right. Okay, so this, if you want, they actually do sell something called real ginger ale. Where do we get that? I got that at the supermarket at Stop and Shop oh, at one did. of the major food chains. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's and good And this to has know. classic, clean, real ginger in it. Okay, so we only have two minutes left. Let's get to some other things here, like ketchup, okay? Or yes. A lot of people try to use ketchup. So, um, fake or real? I'm going to go uh, 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 I don't, fake. Yeah, so definitely the, the one that you're going to find at the store is going to have things like high fructose corn syrup in it. Everything's and, got high fructose corn syrup. In right, it. or it's natural flavors that are not so natural. So you really want to get one that has real ketchup in it, and then you'll get the health benefits of it, like the lycopenes for reducing risk of prostate cancer. So that's one. This is the Big Y Organic brand, and its first ingredient is organic tomato concentrate, organic sugar, organic vinegar. This is... High fructose corn syrup. There you go. Everything's high fructose there corn syrup. There you go. Syrup. <laughs> okay. Yep, you got it. And this one's fun too because mayonnaise, you know, that's something that we look for. And guess what's in that one too? Well, I don't know. We hate mayonnaise, so <laughs> this one, high, a number one ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. Yep, okay. There we go. <laughs> this is a, a wonderful one I like to do a myth buster up. So which is healthier? This butter, right? Real grass fed organic butter or? I'm going with this one. Real you butter. You got it. Yeah, because if you look in here, it, it has ingredients that 
that are not good oils or fats for our body and then actually can increase inflammation. So this is a good bust here too. Okay. The cheeses you probably figured out, this is real cheese. This is processed cheesed breads. You want to look for breads that don't contain, guess what? High, High fructose, fructose corn, corn syrup. syrup. Or, you know what this has in here is something called sucralose. Oh. Sucralose okay. is an artificial sweetener. So we could go on and on, but uh, you can find more information at ArtemisWellnessCenter.com. The main thing is read your ingredients, and if it says high fructose corn syrup, it's something else. Exactly. <laughs> oh, thank you. Have a great Friday and a great weekend, everyone. Scott's going to eat the really real fake Oreo, <laughs> and I would sneeze at four. Start right now. <laughs> Have a great weekend. <laughs> You're Happy fun <laughs>